Area of Refuge Code Requirements. There are three primary code and guideline organizations that get involved with the communication requirements of the Area of Refuge, and they are IBC, International Building Codes, NFPA, National Fire Protection Association, ADAG, Americans with Disabilities Act Accessibility Guidelines. The main driver of determining the need and type of communication in an area of refuge is the IBC. The NFPA and ADAG spell out the minimum requirements of the communication, but only after being required by the IBC. The IBC covers the basic requirements of the NFPA and ADAG, so they will not be discussed here. You can find the details in the written code we provided on our website. If your state or region has adopted the 2009 IBC codes, you will be expected to meet the requirements we will discuss. Even if your area has not adopted the 2009 IBC codes, your fire inspector or AHJ may require this communication because it just makes sense. IBC 1007 Two-Way Communications The 2009 International Building Code IBC now requires a two-way communication system on all new constructions for all area refuge, regardless if they have a sprinkler system or not. Also, significant remodels or change of use of a building may require area refuge. 1007.6.3 Two-way communication. Areas of refuge shall be provided with a two-way communication system complying with sections 1007.8.1 in 1007.8.2. 1007.8 Two-way communication. A two-way communication system shall be provided at the elevator landing on each accessible floor that is one or more stories above or below the story of exit discharge, complying with sections 1007.8.1 and 1007.8.2. There is an exception. Two-way communication systems are not required at the elevator landing where the two-way communication system is provided within areas of refuge in accordance with sections 1007.6.3 stairwell areas of refuge. So if the architect puts the real estate for an area of refuge in the stairwell, put the communication system there. If there isn't a specified area, put it in the elevator landing. Sections 1007.8.1 System Requirements Two-way communications shall provide communication between each required location and the Fire Command Center or Central Control Point location approved by the Fire Department. Where the Central Control Point is not constantly attended, a two-way communication system shall have a timed automatic telephone dial-out capability to a monitoring location or 911. The two-way communication system shall include both audible and visible signals. Most local authorities have in jurisdiction, AHJ, require two-way off-site person-to-person voice communications. Our call boxes will call the base station, and if no one answers, can call up to four different outside phone numbers. A battery backup system <clears throat> is provided for each box in the event of a power outage. 1007.8.2 Directions Directions for the use of the two-way communication system, which includes instructions for summoning assistance via the two-way communication system, and written identification of the location shall be posted adjacent to the two-way communication system. 1007.9 Signage Each door providing access to an area of refuge from the adjacent floor shall be identified by a sign stating area of refuge. We have available photoluminescent, photoluminescent braille, braille, and 120 volt AC lighted signs for your different applications. Signage shall comply with ICC A117.1 requirements for visual characters and include the international symbol of accessibility, which is the wheelchair where exit sign illumination is required by section 1011.2. The sign shall be illuminated. See our part number 7050. Additionally, tactile signage complying with ICC A117.1 shall be located at each door to an area refuge. In summary, your base requirements to meet code are a base station, 
call boxes that have the ability to make an off-site person-to-person call and illuminated and tactile signage. RAF is the largest manufacturer of emergency phones in North America and our area of refuge system will allow you to meet all code requirements with confidence.